Hello and welcome. Today we'll take a look at what Lido looks like once implemented with your teams, contractors, and clients. And so I'll open up the app and start in the My Project tab. As you can see, I have different folders for each of my projects going on uh, based on locations. I also have some free floating lists at the end, uh, here just one, that I'll move to specific folders later. Now, let's open one of my projects, for example, uh, the single family house project. And as you can see, I have different subfolders as well as punch lists. So my subfolders are structured by specific location or just date. And I also enabled the estimate tab to review the amounts being quoted and charged throughout this project. Let's now open a to-do list that was created and start working with my teams. So I will take this one. Uh, this is an inspection I did in the attic of a single family house uh, on February 14th. So for example, I'll assign the first section entirely to my electrician. Then I'll assign section two to the plumbing contractor. And then section three goes to the HVAC. Now let's close this list and head to the My Team tab. As you can see, I have here all my teams. And for example, I have contractors such as Perry Electrical here, uh, the plumber. I also work with my customers. For example, the hotel staff sends me requests directly in the app. But for now, let's just go back and take a closer look at Perry Electrical. As you can see here, I have a summary of all the work we have going on, and especially that section that we just assigned. So let's open that section. As you can see, the electrical team only has access to that specific section I assigned to them and not the entire to-do list. So I keep my teams focused with just the info that they need to know. Now, let's look at what my electrician would actually see on his iPad. If I open up his account, he did not create any list or folder on his own, uh, and that's fine. So let's just go to the My Team tab directly. As you can see here, we have our common team uh, here, just between the two of us. And then there are other technicians from his own company that can be seen below. So first, let's look at the work group between just the two of us. So inside, you can find the work that I assigned to him, including the latest section. And so now, the contractor can use my section to break down the work with his team in the very same way. I could very well go ahead and assign that work to one of my technicians, or specifically, reassign an item to another technician. And then I'll track the work with each of my technicians in the exact same way. Now, when things need clarification, let's look at how the messages can be used. So let's open up as well the app of the technician who was assigned to this ticket here. And let's just say that as an electrician, I want to ask about a clarification for a specific item. I'll post a message. And then my general contractor can answer it right away after seeing the notification. And the technician stays in the loop, receiving all the notifications needed. So this allows for a faster communication, less downtime, less back and forth emails, less driving time, and more transparency. So now let's imagine that as a general contractor, I want to assign this work to another team. I'll just remove access to my electrical contractor and immediately the access to all of the technicians is revoked as well. And I can then assign this work to some other team. So to summarize, this is a demo of some of the features available in Lidl, 
uh, and how Lido could help you manage more projects while saving some time driving or being on the phone. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at Lido.com.